Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. I was having a conversation with uh, my friend of me, Exile Guy, uh, and we were got into talking about serial killers and psychopaths. And even though a uh, normal uh, human being cannot begin to understand what goes on in the heads of people like that, you can observe certain characteristics in them. The inability to understand and empathize with the feelings of others. The perception of others as objects to be used, not as people. And the unwillingness to accept blame and responsibility for what they do. But even though all serial killers have these traits in common, there are a lot of people who think that same way, but do not become serial killers. Some just wind up in regular jobs and, and never get noticed, except by the poor family and friends who have to deal with them. Some become businessmen, quite successful businessmen, like the Koch brothers, who have done things like illegal dumping of chemicals or stealing from Indian tribes, not because they needed to, not because uh, uh, they were in any financial problems, but just because they could. And when they got caught, they didn't think about the people, those chemicals that they illegally dumped could have harmed or even killed. They blamed the EPA, and they have made it their goal to destroy the agency that prevents them from poisoning and killing their fellow Americans. And then there are the Wall Street bankers who crashed the world's economy and still insisted that they get bonuses for it. And some become politicians, like Tea Partiers, like Ted Cruz is a real good example. I mean, these people planned this government shutdown. They promised to do it during campaign rallies. And now that it's done, they're saying it's Obama's fault or Harry Reid's fault. And the picture that they try to paint is that it's some bureaucrats and pencil pushers. But no, the people that are being furloughed are not just bureaucrats. It's the federal police who last week risked their lives to protect those same Congress people. They aren't getting paid. And the doctors and nurses at the NIH who have had to turn away people, many of them children, with cancer and other serious illnesses. People are going to die because of this government shutdown. And Michelle Bachman says she's never seen the Republicans in Congress happier. They don't just think like serial killers. They are serial killers. Thanks for listening.